Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. It is Karen here with you today. Today I'm going to share with you a page that I have done in my larger dilutions journal um, using some collage and a image from Michelle Grant Designs. So to start off with I'm just gessoing gessoing my page and getting it dry. Um, it's the middle of winter here so my heat gun is getting a fair workout this time of year. So while I'm getting that dry I'm just um, remembering to add in my other bits of paper there to help protect my other pages in my journal and I've got some bits of collage here. So two pieces there are some that I actually made myself on some deli paper. You probably would have seen me make those in a previous video. Oh there goes my cat. Just excuse my furry helper. There she is again. That's Bonnie by the way. She's a British blue and she is beautiful. Okay so I've got my bits of collage down and I'm just sticking them down with some um, mixed media gel from Stamperia. It's a it's a lot like a um, gel medium, uh, high gloss gel, regular gel, that kind of thing. Um, although it is kind of shiny. So I'm just using this because it's open and I thought I might as well use it up. Um, so yeah, so I'm just sticking down my bits of collage. Um, I've got my bits of deli paper there that I've painted. Rip those up and sticking them down. I've got some book pages. I'm not quite sure which book they come from or anything like that. I think I got them from a leftover art journaling class with Neve actually a while ago. And the spotty paper is actually some wrapping from scrapping clearly so when you order from there Kylie actually wraps up your parcel and the parcel's wrapped up in well mine was wrapped up in this dotty paper so I decided to save it and use it as collage because it's really quite pretty so I've got some paints out I've got an Adelia brilliant purple I've got some Amsterdam's and I've pulled out a few others that I thought I might use as well but um, some of those dilutions ones but I didn't actually end up using those um so the purple got that on there and I've got a art by Marlene stencil and a baby wipe so I'm just removing the majority of that paint off and without washing out my brush I've just grabbed my next color um which is Amsterdam magenta and an Adina Wakely stencil this time and just rubbing off the excess there. I've got a blue um, from Amsterdam which is a turquoise and really dark um, navy blue which I am pretty sure I used in that blue um, deli paper collage that I made. So again I've just put my art by Marlene stencil over the top and rubbed some of the paint away. A bit like well it is like what Lisa Oxley does um, if you've watched any of her videos, Scrap Witch Lisa. She is the expert at it. Okay, so now I've got some white paint, but I forgot that my white Amsterdam paint is actually quite translucent. So that one didn't work. So I've squeezed out a bit of gesso because that was there. And now I'm just adding in a bit of white. Again, that's an Art by Marlene stencil. Using some of that um, magenta that is lying around there on my uh, board and I've got a bit more white so I thought I might tone it back a little bit by adding in a little bit more gesso and then wiping it back again with my Dina stencil just to help break it up a little bit because it was a little bit in your face I thought but it actually doesn't look too bad now that I'm watching it back in video so again, there's my heat gun because it's freezing cold here. <laughs> oh dear. So, so while I'm kind of waiting for that to dry, I thought I would get my use up journal and um, smoosh in the rest of this paint that I've got lying about here. So it's a bit of a hodgepodge of paint um, all those colors mixed in together and I've just put it on with a sponge and I'll put that aside to dry and you may see me do a project with that very very soon 
So now I've got out some paper artsy stamps. Um, I've got a variety of different ones here. And this one that I'm using was a script. Now I've got Tracy Scott's um, Mark, one of her Mark Made King stamp sets. Um, now all the paper artsy stamps are available at Bev's Cross Crafts if you want to check them out there. Um, and I've got out my, uh, what are they? Archival inks. <laughs> The Dilutions coloured ones, you know, the first 12 that come out, but I don't think we're getting any more, so it's a bit of a shame. Anyway, so I've used um, picked raspberry and whatever the bright blue is, I can't remember. Those circles that I've got there is a stamp set from Seth Apter, also from Paper Artsy, and it's super cool. I really liked um, how that one turned out, actually with the black um, cogs and things. So now I've got a bit of paper artsy paint on a paper artsy stamp and I'm just smooshing that onto my um, stamp with some foam cut and dry um, and I've stamped that onto my page and then when I've finished it's very important that you wipe the paint away from your stamp so it doesn't actually dry on there. So I've washed it all off with a baby wipe and gave it a spritz with some water as well just to make sure that it was fully off because the paper artsy paints are permanent when they are dry, which is super cool. So now I'm hunting through my um, Michelle Grant images. I've got a bunch of her art packs. I've just fallen in love with them actually in the past couple of weeks. So I'll put a link to her website so you can check them out. Um, below there and maybe you might want to get some so I've decided to use this one here and this is from the Hope um, art collection and I've just sprayed it with a bit of um, workable fixative the reason why I did that is because it's just printed on my home printer and I didn't want the ink to run when I glued it down or when I put my gesso clear gesso over the top so I've just um, glued it down with some art glitter glue. It's a really nice strong glue. Gave her another spray with the fixative just to make absolute sure. And while that's drying, I'm cutting out a sentiment from also from that art pack. So you have a bit of a close up. I can't remember what it says just at the moment. <laughs> I know that little word that I'm cutting out is hope. So I'll stick that on there. So that looks cute. Um, I can't remember what the quote says and it's sitting, what does it say? Ah, oh, the world has slowed so you can rediscover yourself. That's right. So now I've got some leftover collage bits from Dina Wakeley that I stamped out. So I thought I'd stick those in as well. That's one of her stamps just on one of her collage papers. So now I'm going over my um, image with the clear gesso. The reason why I did that is so that I can actually add some colour over the top without the ink of, from my printer smudging and, and all the rest of it. So I decided that I'd use my pastels from Jane Davenport. I thought they would look really quite nice, which they do end up. So I'm just going around with the little batten blender um, just with some skin colours, giving her some cheeks, giving her some pretty rosy lips, a little bit of eyeshadow and also colouring her eyes a little bit. So she's looking a little bit um, like an old, you know, early 1900s image actually, which is um, quite interesting with my background there. So I really like how, how this one turned out actually. So I'm just adding a few little bits in with my Posca pen and that's pretty much it. So just going around there with a food ball, and yeah, I think I'm done. So here's a few um, pictures of what I've actually done. So I really hope that you've enjoyed my video today and by all means go and check out Michelle's um, website. The link is down below and of course paper artsy stamps you can get those at Bev's and the link's below as well. So thank you so much for watching um, and please like and subscribe to my channel if you really like what I'm up to. Okay till next time bye!